Hey guys, uh, Charles here. I'm doing 2009 AP Micro number one. Oh, this looks like a Monopoly question. Number one, the only supplier of cable TV, Monopoly, is an unrelated equally is earning an economic profit, and it does not price discriminate. So let's just see if we can draw it real quick here. Demand, marginal revenue, marginal cost, price. Remember that demand curve is DARP, right? It is your price. Everything has to bounce off of that. Here's your quantity, easy enough. Uh, we know P and Q. I think we're okay. Profit max is right there. You got to know profit max, right? Get it tattooed on your neck or something. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Um, draw a quick label graph for cable now. Make sure the graph is large. Okay. Profit maximizing Q star. So we want to put in our star maximizing price p star easy enough area of profit they are making profits i didn't think about that i forgot that so let's just draw this atc in like that know that we're going to go up from profit max till we hit our atc then we're going to bounce to the left and all of that area is profit um, you would want to shade it in not just write profit and it shaded in but i'm just going to leave it like that so it's not quite so sloppy the socially optimal level uh, as QS. So we know our socially optimal level is where price equals marginal cost. You, you should know that as allocative efficiency, right? That is where a perfectly competitive firm would produce that quantity right there. Let's call it QS. I think we're good on all of these. Um, assume the government grants cable now a lump sum subsidy of a million. Will this policy change their profit maximizing quantity? Um, we know lump sums. Lump sums are thought of like fixed costs, right? Even if it's a lump sum subsidy, we just talk about it as a fixed cost in that it does not, does not affect, affect or effect, affect um, the marginal cost curve. Lump sums are just like me handing you a million dollars. Doesn't change the demand for your good. You're not going to pay your people more. It's just money being given to you for being in the industry. So it does not affect your marginal cost curve. If your marginal cost curve does not shift, your quantity will not change. The reason why I said it's like a fixed cost is it does affect your average total cost, right? So your average total cost curve would shift down. Uh, your costs are falling. But all they're talking about is quantity here. So we would just say no change to quantity uh, as no effect on marginal cost. I think that we could explain it just like that. Instead of granting something, assume now that the government chooses to require cable to produce the quantity at which cable now earns a zero economic profit. We know zero economic profit is also called break even maybe fair return they used to call it fair return i haven't seen that in a very long time um zero economic or break even do know that zero is the same thing as saying a normal profit they could have used that just as easily and understand that's where your price is equal to your atc so that quantity right there would be qr hopefully you can make it a little better than i could quantity QR. At QR, is the firm's accounting profit positive, negative, or zero? We would say it is positive. Um, and we explain that. Um, how can I explain that? Let me say that uh, accountants only look at explicit costs Um, as economists take into account hmm, explicit and implicit to break even. Now, I haven't even looked at the answers, but I don't know if that's going to, I'll have to check it afterwards. Uh, ATS only looks at explicit costs, whereas economists or economic profit takes into account explicit and implicit. 
Let's see if I can make that a little bit more clear to you. Let's say this is my explicit. Explicit costs are fixed cost and variable cost, anything you spend money on. And implicit, which is your opportunity cost, right? What you could have been doing with your money. Both of these together are total cost, right? We also have what we call our total revenue here. And total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue minus total cost, if they're the same, would equal zero economic profit, right? I guess I should say, if they equal one another, zero economic profit. Accountants, though, only look at explicit cost. So if your total revenue equaled your explicit costs, then you would be at break even for an accountant. But what we know is our total revenue is enough to cover both our explicit and our implicit. So the accountant, the accounting profits would have to be positive here. Because not only are we making enough to cover our explicit, we're also making enough to cover our implicit, which means our total revenue is greater than the explicit. Accounting profits are positive. I hope that's a good explanation. I don't know if I'd get the point for that. You'd get one point for saying it's positive and then one point for the explanation. I'll look back at it. If I'm okay with it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll run away and do another one. Assume that a new study reveals there are external benefits associated with watching TV. Will the socially optimal quantity of cable service now be larger or equal to QS? Um, so now all of a sudden it becomes a positive externality. Um, assume now that a study reveals our external benefits to Washington will the socially optimal quantity services now be larger or smaller or equal to QS? I think it would have to be smaller. If we suddenly decide it's a positive externality, um, our QS is probably not going to be uh, large enough uh, that you identified in part A4. Yeah, I think we would say we want more of this good. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Be safe, take care, guys. Bye.